Gary can never find to remember here, although it is usually easier to write what you actually believe, it is not absolutely necessary if you do not have enough ideas or examples to support the side of an argument that you want to support. You can always say something like, on the one hand, but on the other hand, and present arguments for both sides. However, you should not simply contradict yourself. That is, you should not say, I agree in one section and then I disagree in the next paragraph. That sounds if you are simply confused or are not expressing what you think at all. What you can say is, these are some arguments for and these are some arguments against. And so I only partly agree, disagree. Or you can say, there are good arguments on both sides. But on the whole, I prefer the, prefer the arguments for against. Of course, uh, you would not use these actual words. They only summarize the possible underlying meaning in your essay. Remember, you are not being examined on your opinions, but only on how well you can express and support some intelligent ideas, whether they are your own or not. Key terms. This is, this is usually the this is usually the easiest part of the essay to deal with. Normally, the keywords deal with a familiar topic such as the internet or television or technology in general. This is because examiners are not testing you for your knowledge but rather for your ability to write well. Therefore, the topic chosen will be about concepts and issues that they expect very educated person to know something about. Common topics include education, the environment, information technology, the media, advertising, consumer issues, social problems, health, lifestyles, including life in cities, traffic problems, quality of life, culture and society, music, art, literature, television, etc. Foreign language and travel, support, scientific research, including generic engineering, space travel, ethical issues, right and wrong behavior such as treatment of animals, law enforcement, etc. Try to think of other topics that you know have been used in previous examinations or that you think might occur. You can find sample questions on all of these topics in Appendix A. In order to prepare in order to be prepared with ideas on such key concepts, it is necessary to keep up to date with the major issues being discussed in the world. The editorial pages of newspapers and news magazines are important sources of such information, as are current affairs, radio and television programs.
analyzing the question. Understanding the question means more than understanding the instructions or the words of question. It means recognizing the focus of the question and knowing what approach you should take on the topic. This is, in some ways, the most important aspect of writing the essay and it requires the most thought. You should therefore be prepared to spend at least three minutes thinking about what approach to take to the question. The handbook you remember explains that candidates are addressed on their ability to present the solution to a problem, present and justify an opinion, compare and contrast evidence, opinions and implications, evalu- evaluate and challenge ideas, evidence or an argument. You will therefore need to decide which of these approaches is the one required for any particular question. You will also need to know when and how much to use definitions and examples. In this section, we will deal with the following features of a discussion or argument essay. The focus, the context, definitions, examples. Finding the focus. It is very important to look at the actual question words very closely. Students sometimes jump to conclusions about what they should write by just looking at the topic and not at the focus of the topic. Consider the following questions. A. Many people believe that the internet is the most revolutionary new invention of the last century. Do you agree? B. The internet has revolutionized the modern world, but many people argue that it has also created new problems and inequalities. What is your opinion? The internet could revolutionize the world in future if everyone could have easy access to all the information that is available on the world wide web. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? <laughs> 